guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here then i'm so happy to meet you so welcome to gems gift guide i have been planning this little gift guide series for so long and i'm so happy that i can finally share it with you so if you are new here basically i've been going on about it in every video for the past like month <laughs> but i've created a little series called gems gift guide it's going to consist of five videos that all have a different theme hopefully give you guys a little bit of inspiration for what to get your loved ones this this Christmas. So the gift guide series is going to go on through the week. So there's going to be an upload tomorrow, Tuesday, Thursday and next Saturday. So today's gift guide is... <laughs> what are you doing? I have two stockings. One is for him, one is for her. Each are under £15 including the stocking. So before I show you what is in these stockings, I really wanted to give back a little something to you guys this Christmas because you have been the most supportive best friends a girl could wish for this year. Let's not get deep within the first five minutes of the video, Gemma, please, today. So at the end of every single one of my gift guide videos, I'm going to be offering you guys a giveaway. So in today's video, you have the chance to win one of the two stockings that I'm going to show you. So there will be two winners. All of the rules to the giveaway will be in the description box below. But literally all you need to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram. Like this video. And then comment in the comments box below. Hashtag Gems Gift Guide Giveaway. And then at the end of that put his or hers. So whichever stocking you would like to win. Just put his or hers. So all of the winners to all five giveaways will be announced on the 27th of November in whatever video I post on that day. So before we get into the video, you know the drill, get your Christmas mugs out, get your favourite drink, get snacks, Christmas PJs, Christmas candles, blankets. So I'm going to start with hers stocking because I feel like this was my favourite one to do. When going in B&M for these stocking fillers, it was not hard. Like they have got so many different things. Like I said, each stocking is under £15, so super affordable. I really wanted to find something for you guys that you could make a really nice gift out of and not have to spend too much money. But first things first, these beautiful stockings were £2.49. I didn't actually have a huge choice of stockings but I've seen some other really 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 affordable stockings in the range. Okay my lovelies so the first thing in her stocking is this three pack of cozy socks. I mean cozy socks is that one present that I feel like everyone needs to get for Christmas. These are perfect for the winter. These are so soft. So you get a pack of like this mild grey and then you have white and then you have just a plain grey. I thought these were beautiful and for £3.99 what a bargain also I find in stockings I always buy either some slipper socks or some socks because it really bulks out the stocking and it saves you money because you don't have to buy as much so next you guys already know you guys already know. I feel like if this was for a younger female, you could still buy obviously like the socks and other little bits that I've got inside, but you could just swap little bits like this. You guys know I love Zoflora. I have an unhealthy obsession with Zoflora. So I thought if this is for someone like me, I would be literally, I would be so happy with this. And this was one pound. If it was for someone younger or you didn't want to put disinfection in someone's stocking, just maybe you could swap this for like a body spray or something like that oh my god i thought this was absolutely adorable and it's gray so obviously i love it so this is a mini hot water bottle hand warmer which i just thought was so cute it's glittery and it's got little reindeers on it and this was one pound 49 they had a lot of these i think they had a gold one and then they had like the traditional red and almost like this red and white striped next i picked up this gold face mask i feel like face masks in stockings are essential like i love to get a new face mask everyone loves a pamponite i picked up this gold one because i thought it's christmas it's a little bit more special it's a little bit more extra tis the season to have a gold face and this was one pound next i picked up this little box of chocolates b&m had lots of different ones of these they had your heroes they had your quality street they had all bits like that but i went for this because it was the cheaper option and i wanted to stay below 15 pounds so if you wanted to spend a little bit extra you could get obviously like their favorite chocolate that's some of these purely because they reminded me of my childhood i used to love these did anyone else used to like tip the contents of this in their mouth and you used to end up with like a big ball of sugar 
it sounds disgusting but at the time for the best days of my life <laughs> so i picked up these because they were pink and i just thought it was something really cute to put in the stocking these were under a pound so i thought fab gonna get them again big packaging box of stocking out the thing in her stocking is this which is my favorite what an amazing idea so this is a little bottle filled with the ingredients to make chocolate chip muffins which i just thought what a great idea and this was one pound fifty so all you need to add to this is milk eggs and butter boxing day you could be baking the muffins really nice idea really different and it gives them something to do that's almost what i try and think about when making a stocking something to do something to eat something to smell something to wear that's what i like to include in the stocking so then i also picked up these candy canes which were a pound for all of these which i thought would be cute just to put like one of each color inside the stocking so i'm going to divide this into two but half in his stocking and half in her stocking I feel like this stocking would be perfect perfect for anyone mums nans sisters like i said if it's for a younger female you might want to switch some of the bits up a little i really tried to cater for all when creating this stocking so if you would like to win her stocking don't forget to comment below hashtag gems gift guide giveaway hers i am going to get that hashtag wrong at some point because that is a mouthful i love buying christmas presents like so much like i can't explain how happy buying christmas presents make me like i just I love to make other people happy and seeing the face when they open a present that I've put loads of thought into, I'm just like <laughs> So me and Sophie, if you haven't watched any of my videos before, she's my best friend, she features in a lot of my videos. Um, we are going to be doing a huge best friend gift exchange. We have gone a little crazy this year, like I'm just going to prepare you. We've gone very crazy. So that is going to be such a fun video to film. That will be up obviously more near a Christmas. So his stocking. I always find boys' stockings considerably harder. Like, honestly, I was so nervous to shop for his stocking. B&M have got so much wonderful bargains that I was like, this is actually so easy. Again, same stocking, £2.49. The first thing I got were these Double Dare jelly beans. These remind me of the Bean Boozle Challenge, which is potentially one of the most disgusting things on planet Earth. Because I just feel like it's such a typical dad joke for, like, you can imagine dad going around on Christmas Day offering everyone a jelly bean and the pure excitement on his face when you get a bad flavour. I feel like children would really love this as well. It's just such a little funny game to play. Some of the flavours you could get is cola or cat food, caramel or snail. How you make a jelly bean it tastes like a snail, I will never know. Blueberry or toothpaste, quite like toothpaste. I wouldn't mind getting that one, Dad. Watermelon or snot. That's something to put you off your Christmas dinner. Lemon or rotten cheese. Strawberry or fresh blood. Now, I actually can't. If I was given that, I honestly don't know what I'd do. Like, the taste of blood or blood in general, it's making me go hot. I'm one of them. Like, once, once I broke my nail and there was a bit of blood and I fainted. I am that person. Whew. Let's put down, let's put down the double dare beans. Double dare beans, which sounds delightful, were two pounds. I would give these to my dad or brother or nephew, they would be in their bloody element trying to feed me the blood bean. Next thing I picked up were these Brussels sprout chocolates, which are just adorable, aren't they? I am a lover of a Brussels sprout. Are you a lover or a hater? Like, I don't see what the problem is with them. I think they're bloody great. They're like mini cabbages. I thought these were just so fun. So these were one pound and they're not suitable for people with nut allergies, just to let you know. <laughs> So the next thing I picked up was this shocking pen. I feel like maybe for children this wouldn't be suitable. Basically, it gives you like a really mini, not like an electric shock, but you know when it's just like static. My dad will be in his element with this. My dad is honestly like such a prankster. Like honestly, I, I feel like one day I should do a story time of all the pranks my dad's pulled because it's actually so funny. B&M have got a fabulous aisle which is full of like little jokes and fun little games which i feel like are perfect for his stocking this was two pounds fifty next i picked up some lynx africa because if you're a man and you don't receive some form of like lynx for christmas i swear all men get lynx gift sets for christmas but again this was bulky it filled up room it was only a pound and i actually love the smell of this isn't lynx gift sets like that present when you don't really know the person and you want to get them something you're like yep yeah, yep yeah, yep yeah, lynx gift set 
She got some minions again. They're super yummy and again they take up lots of room and these were again a pound. So next I picked up this general knowledge quiz factory little game thing. If your dad or brother or granddad is anything like mine, my dad especially, he loves to think he knows everything, even things that he doesn't have a clue about. He likes to think he knows everything. Dad, you better get ready for this. I thought it'd be really fun to play either on Christmas Day or Boxing Day, and again, it's something to do. I guess it's just one of those things where you ask questions and then, I don't know, you just, it's just general knowledge, babe. And this was £2.99. And then last but certainly not least, I picked up this huge Galaxy Hot Chocolate. I mean, everyone likes hot chocolate, right? And even if he doesn't like hot chocolate, he can give it to you. So it's a win-win. If they're a lover of coffee, you could change it for that. If they're a lover of tea, you could change it for like some tea bags. I mean, I would be happy with some tea bags in a stocking, kind of. So yeah, and I think this was two pounds because it's really, really big. I love those like absolutely gigantic galaxy bars you get. So guys, we have reached the end of my first gift guide video. I'm excited for the other ones I have to come. So tomorrow's video is gonna be a his and hers Primark stocking video, which if you think these were good, wait until you see that one. I really, really hope this video has given you some ideas. I would say when trying to buy stocking fillers, I would always make a list of something to eat, something to wear, something to do, something to smell, something soft. I know sometimes, especially someone that has everything, it's so hard to know what to buy them, but hopefully this has given you guys some ideas. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you are looking forward to more gift guide ideas, then please don't forget to hit subscribe. And if you would like to win one of the two stockings with all the contents then please don't forget to enter my giveaway love you all so much you literally have no idea thank you so much for watching and i'll see you tomorrow bye Whoa, oh, oh,